Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to Lift It, a program designed to help people of all ages learn healthier ways of living. We do this by empowering you to make better food choices and by living an active lifestyle. I'm Marnie Robinson, your food is medicine advocate. And I'm Chandra Barnett, your fitness and accountability coach. Once again, we're on location at Muscleheads Gym on Emancipation Avenue in the great city of Houston. For all of our new viewers, you missed two exciting weeks of learning about super cool exercises and how to make helpful eating a part of your everyday behavior. We even learned how nutrition can help us when we exercise, improve our health outcomes, and even help mitigate many chronic diseases. Today's show, we want to empower you even more. It's time to come up. Chandra is teaching us about HIT. I'm not talking about like that kind of HIT. I'm talking about HIT training. It's called high intensity interval training. And let me tell you, you better keep some water handy on the side, maybe a little, a little aminos, and I won't spoil it for you because I'll let Chandra share the rest. Thank you for that. And later in the program, Marnie will talk about foods that can keep us fueled during HIT training, as well as improve our overall health as always, please remember to get clearance from your doctor if you have any underlying health conditions prior to starting an exercise program. So, let's get started. As Wheeler Avenue honors African American History Month and its theme, Black Health and Wellness, we want to continue on this path of empowering you to advocate for your health by understanding the role food plays in your total well-being. Today, Chandra taught us how effective HIIT training can be. From burning calories, losing weight, gaining muscle, improving your oxygen levels, to lowering your blood pressure and even your blood sugar levels. So what role does food play? Here's the deal. It's important to properly fuel the body to ensure it has the energy it needs for the high demands of aerobic exercise. That is why it is important to eat before your HIIT workout and then immediately following your workout. Because HIIT is considered a high impact workout, we should focus on eating healthy amounts of carbohydrates and protein. So for all of you no carb dieters out there, you are missing out on the wonders of what healthy carbs can actually do for your body. Carbs are your body's main source of energy. In fact, you can almost never get away from them. The healthy carbs are found in fruits, veggies, grains, and even meats. Simply put, you want to stay away from the food that is processed, contains bleached white flour, or just plain old junk foods. These types of carbs are the dangerous ones. They can lead to increased blood sugar and insulin resistance and even increased sodium levels, all of which lead to poor health. To do your body good, eat plant-based food that have natural carbohydrates your body recognizes immediately as the good stuff and then uses it efficiently and effectively. Whole sources of fruits such as bananas, apples, oranges, kiwi, melons, berries, pears, and pineapple, whole grains such as oats, brown rice, quinoa, buckwheat, millet, barley, and spelt, non-starchy vegetables, and even beans and legumes are all carbs you want to consume regardless of your workouts. Eating the healthy carbs before and after your workout can help the body perform well, minimize muscle loss, and recover properly. You will also find that eating plant-based carbs are packed with fiber, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients to help fight chronic diseases, especially the big three we see so often in the black community. Yes, you said it, heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. So remember, we want to do our bodies well by eating to live instead of living to eat because food is medicine. And now it's time for that HIIT workout, that high intensity interval training workout that we have for you today. I am joined today by the Tillman. They are going to do this workout with me. They're going to, we're going to demonstrate these exercises. We have six exercises for you today. The first one, burpees, that exercise that everybody loves to hate. All right, you guys ready? Let's demonstrate this for everyone. We're going to do a jump up and then we're gonna drop down 
do a push up, pop back up, and that's your burpee. And our next exercise, we're going to take it into a lateral lunge. So we're going to take a step out to our left and we're going to sit into that side and then bring it back to the center. And then we're going to lunge to our right and bring that back to center. And that's our next exercise, that lateral lunge. Our next exercise is the mountain climber. We are going to come down, all right, making sure that, and I'm going to turn to the side just a little bit, making sure that our wrists are in alignment with our shoulders. All right, and then we're going to, just like we're running, all right? So we're gonna bring, drive that knee into the chest and then alternate it. And just like this, this is your mountain climber. All right. Then our next exercise, push-ups. Yes, we've done push-ups in each workout, but that's okay. It's needed, we want our arms to look right, we want our chest to look right, summer is coming. All right, let's drop down. <laughs> and we're gonna work that core. And I'm going to turn to the side once again, and I'm going to do a kneeling push-up. And let's go, we're gonna drop down and exhale as you push up. And our next exercise, plank hold, okay? Plank hold, we're gonna hold this, and you'll see in the workout, so we're gonna come down once again into that push-up position, but we're gonna be on our forearms, all right? Just like this, making sure that you do not stick your buttocks up in the air too much or lower them too much. You wanna be in a nice neutral position, okay? All right, excellent, all right. And our last exercise, that exercise that everybody's familiar with, jumping jacks, all right? Simple, simple, ready, and let's go. All right, good. All right, now we're gonna put all of those exercises together in a Tabata style workout, all right? That means we're gonna work for 20 seconds and then we're gonna rest for 10 seconds. But with the exception of our 10 seconds of rest, we're gonna get into a squat hold for 10 seconds. All right, let's begin. And go, let's go. Woo, how we doing on this first exercise, you guys? Ooh, okay, these burpees are no joke. Now remember, you can add in a push-up if you'd like. If you don't want to, that's fine. Let's rest, get into that squat hold. Very good. All right. Our next exercise is coming up in two seconds, our lateral lunges. Let's work, here we go. To the center and to the right. There we go. Woo. Woo, how are we feeling, guys? All right, all right. Remember now. We're trying to keep that heart rate up. So keep moving, keep it going. Good, rest. There we go, all right. Next exercise coming up. I'm gonna drop down into those mountain climbers in two and one. Let's go, mountain climbers. Woo! There we go, come on, come on. Come on, drive those knees towards the chest, you all. Come on, woo, and rest. Squat hold. Woo, our next exercise, push-ups in one. Let's go. Here we go. Woo. Woo, exhale on the way up. How are we doing? Okay. <laughs> Woo. Come on. Come on, y'all. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. And rest. Woo, let's bring it up. Get into that squat hole. Just hold. All right, woo, ah, rest it out. We gonna do a little bit longer rest on that one, y'all. Oh my God, <laughs> how are we feeling? In three, we are going to drop down into a plank hold for 20 seconds, so let's go, woo. All right, oh my gosh, woo. Remember, make sure that you stay in a neutral position. All right, woo, we got six more seconds, y'all. Oh my gosh, woo, in two and one. Let's take it back up. All right, we got those jumping jacks and let's go. Woo, woo, keep it going, keep it going. Woo, how we doing back there? Ah, uh, woo, 
Uh, keep going. Come on, make it faster. Come on, make it change it to those fast shakes. Go a little bit faster. Almost there. Come on. Woo, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, good job, good job, good job. Good, good job, good job. Woo, all right. And that is your high intensity interval workout for today. Woo, good job, you guys. Good job. Woo! Okay, HIIT training is exactly what it means, okay. high intensity. But that's all we have for today. Today's show was brought to you by Wheeler Avenue and Muscle Heads Gym. Muscle Heads is located at 2715 Emancipation Avenue right here in Houston, Texas. So if you are in the area or if you're looking for a really cool gym, come on over to Muscle Heads. Remember, your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. So choose life by eating to live instead of living to eat. And get plenty of exercise to improve the overall state of your health. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.